Uh, this is our live look up at Frankfurt. Uh, we're in good shape. Uh, I don't know if anybody's Black Friday shopping up in Franklin County. It's looking pretty quiet downtown there, uh, but there's nothing weather wise. It's going to slow you down from being out today beyond just a chill in the air. It's cold. We've got 30s and 40s out there right now. The good news, no precipitation, still some cloud cover hanging around, but notice the big absence of uh, well, really anything active. That's the way this upcoming weekend is going to go. The only thing notable that's coming our way Beyond this ridge of high pressure drifting east is this cold front tonight, and it's pretty much going to be bone dry as it goes through. Some showers across the deep south. You may have a sprinkle, a little patchy drizzle overnight, but that's really about it. It's going to knock temperatures back down to around average tomorrow, and then by the end of the weekend, high pressure is ridging back in again. So in the short term, it looks great. Then you drop down toward the Gulf Coast as you get into early next week, and that doesn't look great. And this is only telling half the story. You've got low pressure developing. You notice that trend. It's pushing northeast towards us. This is the other component we need to worry about. That's cold front coming in on the leading edge of what will be significantly colder air. There are the 40s and 30s I was talking about. The cloud cover that's hanging in overnight has actually helped keep temperatures propped up a bit. We're in the mid-upper 40s here where those clouds did break yesterday. It's colder and you're down close to freezing in spots. This is the departure from normal. Notice, watch the cold air after a milder weekend. We've got this colder air that's just going to overwhelm the eastern seaboard eventually, but a lot of the deep south and through the Mississippi River Valley could be running anywhere between 10 to 15 degrees below normal. We're in on that action from Lexington and across much of the Ohio Valley, and that cold's going to linger through Wednesday, Thursday of next week. Along with that, some moisture to work with. So the 6 to 10-day temperature outlook agrees. December 2nd through the 6th, above normal in the upper plains there and uh, the upper Midwest, but below normal here and into the deep south. So it's going to be a cold punch that we've got to contend with early next week. And along with that, yeah, the precipitation, that's a high in the mid 30s Tuesday. Time of the year, our average high is 50 degrees. So we're running well below average. And notice the bottoming out of the temperature is December 1st. So literally as December 1st starts, that'll be the coldest we get. This is the potential setup, and I've been gaming this out the last couple of days, give you an idea where we're headed, and it, we're still days away. This is for really next week, early next week, the Sunday, Monday time frame, from development to that low track running up just probably to the east of uh, Kentucky, and then a band of heavier snow on the northwestern edge of it. With the way it's going right now, it looks like Ohio, if there is going to be any kind of significant snowfall from this, Ohio could be the recipient and then running up into the Great Lakes. And we're going to be in that dividing line where it starts out as cold rain Monday and then transitions over to rain to snow showers overnight into Tuesday morning. That'll be our best bet to see some wintry weather thrown into the mix. And yes, there's the potential we may pick a little bit up, but it's just way too early to say for sure. 56 for the high today. Mostly to partly cloudy. Get out there and enjoy it. We should break those clouds later this afternoon. Cloud back up briefly overnight as the cold front comes through and then go partly cloudy after. And then tomorrow we're running cooler. But remember, 50 is our average high. End of the weekend back in the mid to upper 50s and there is that wet to potentially wintry mess. Definite cold air. The overnight lows aren't all that impressive. We've been in down in the mid 20s already, but that run in the 30s to barely around 40 is going to make you sit up and take notice.